What's going on folks? Zeke here with Mr. Chad Clifton, the owner of Power Brakes. We wanted to do an unboxing video to show everybody what the different parts and pieces are that come with these systems when you order them. So we've got two separate things here. If you order just the brackets, if you already have the trolling motors and you just need the brackets, this is what you're getting. It looks simple, but I'm telling you the work that goes into each one of these things, building them, which is going on behind us right now, or in front of us, I should say, is remarkable. So it comes fully assembled, ready to bolt onto your boat, also with the clips. Chad, you wanna explain what is in this accessory pack? Yeah, so if you can just get the brackets, the accessory pack, really the only thing that's in here is the clamps. Um, when, you, when you get them, we leave this cable, because everybody wants to different lengths, put the clamps wherever, so we let you figure it out. We've got some crimps. Uh, however, wherever you want this clamp to be on your boat, a lot of people put it on the little D-ring of your battery box, your engine compartment. These crimps just slide over the wire, you loop it back through. You just crimp it down with regular wire crimpers. Then you have a, a pull handle to pull it up and clamp it on the engine, your steering cables or whatever. I think I clamp mine on my steering cables. It makes it quick and easy to access it whenever I need to deploy the brakes uh, or stow them. Keeps them from flying around when you're towing your boat down the road, when you're you know driving 65, 75 miles an hour down the lake. Um, it just keeps everything sturdy and stable. I have had zero issue with these um, brakes moving on the back of the boat. My power poles do this, and my power brakes are dead straight all the time. Some of the other accessories, I gave you some extra carter pins. Um, you'll see they're right here. This is the breakaway system. Um, so your motor's running down. It, so you're going pretty fast to hit a stump. Uh, it'll shear these carter pins off, and this the motor will pivot up. Um, so you just stow your brake again, fold it down and put new carter, piece, carter pins in it, and you're good to go. Some people don't want it to break away, so we supply you with two little stainless bolts, one for each side, and on one side you got a bigger hole, you can put that bolt in, but if you're running it without break or without a breakaway, something's going to break if, uh, if you hit something really hard. So we don't send them with the brake the breakaway lock in. We send it with the Carter keys, just for a little safety. I run the, I run the breakaway, the Cotter pin system on mine. Um, I believe the Stan Stifers, Les and Keaton run, run the bolt. They don't want theirs breaking away. Uh, I fish a lot of trees. I love that breakaway system. It's very simple and it's very easy to reload um, at, after you do shear that Cotter pin. Comes with extras, a couple extras. I went and picked up a few more just because I fish fast and dangerously. But it really thought through the breakaway system. Cotter pins make it easy. Again, you don't want it. it comes with your stainless bolts. Yeah, and it takes a lot to break it away. I mean, these are so tough. The shafts are so tough. You can almost bend them in a U and they won't break. Um, but it will break away to save your brackets. Um, and that's really what you want to save. The motors are cheap. It'll still save them, but the brackets are expensive. That's what you want to protect. Um, it's just a good system. So again, guys, gals, if you've already got motors, this is what comes with the brakes, the power brakes, and this accessory kit right here. Now, if you need everything, you don't have brakes currently, you need the trolling motors, you need everything, let's bring in, we've got one trolling motor sitting here. Obviously, it comes with two. So you've got your Enduras. For the trolling motors, they're already stripped down, ready to install right on the brakes. And Chad's getting this accessory kit here with all the, the fun stuff. He's got a little wiring diagram, this foot switch. Go ahead and tell us about what you got there, Chad. All right, so we don't run big wire all the way to the front of the boat and, and back. We use a relay, so you can, um, and we use 18 gauge wire from, from the relay to the stop switch. Um, 
And I think that's why all the stomp switches go out because they're, they're running their big 30 amps all the way through the stomp switch back to the motors, but you don't need to do that with a relay. Uh, we got instructions on how to wire the relay. These relays are waterproof, but they're not waterproof. You need to mount these and they need to be mounted up like this if they're laying down on the bottom of the boat like we've done in the past, they get water in them, they go out and you'll be dead in the water. So we've learned to mount them up, you won't ever have any problems with them. The, the stomp switch, we, we solder a male end on it and then we supply you with the female. So with your wire you run, you'll, you'll fix this to your wire and you just have it on the bow of your boat. And you can buy these stomp switches for, I don't know, 20 bucks and you have an extra one in the boat. It's the cheapest stomp switch we can find. I've run one for over a year now, I've never had a problem with it. But you just plug it in and you're good to go. So when you, when you buy these motors, they come with, you know, all that big transom mountain stuff. So we harvest all the important parts out of it, these, these little keyways and the screws. And they'll go, the keyway, all that's for, these are carbon fiber shafts. And you can't put a, a set screw right on it or you'll break your shaft. So these keyways are designed to be a softener to lock it down. So they come with the motors and we use some zip ties. So the bottom of these brakes, we machine slots in here. So after you mount your motor, you run, the, you run your cable down there and you zip tie it to the bottom, the bottom side of your brake. Looks really nice, clean, stays out of the way. But it's, it's really simple. Um, there's a lot of installers that can install them for you. Very, very well thought through. Tried to make it as simple as possible. So when, when you all receive them, you're not scratching your head wondering what to do. Chad's really put a lot of thought and effort into simplifying this process and making a product that he stands behind. Like you said, if you have questions, you can call us with any questions before you buy, after you buy, anytime. We're here to help. We hope this video helps you guys out. Make a decision on what you need from Power Brakes. As always, stay in tune and check us out at mypowerbrakes.com.